My main role is leading the Firecast project, with, which is a NASA-funded project. And that project is building a decision-making tool that channels information from satellites to decision-makers in the field who are using it for um, monitoring protected areas and um, spatial planning. It's really intended for using the daily information, near real time, streaming from satellites, and channeling to those people who need to make the daily decisions in the field. There are other tools that are similar, um, taking fire detections from satellites and having alert systems that people can subscribe to, and, and that is one of the aspects of Firecast. Um, but one groundbreaking thing is we also provide forecasting information for fire forecasting, and so people not only can be reactive about fires once they get information that, oh, there's I see fires in my protected area, but they can also get information saying there's a high chance of a fire breaking out due to drought-like conditions and that is something groundbreaking about our system. Right now Firecast is sort of the middleman between the technology developers, like the monitoring technology developers, satellite developers, sort of NASA, let's say, and the decision makers who are in remote areas in the field. So we're kind of the middle person communicating between the two, and in 10 years, I would like Firecast to basically provide a seamless dialogue, a two-way dialogue between the technology developers and the decision makers. So uh, the technology developers know you know, what's, how best to, um, what technologies are needed or what new data products are needed to help inform conservation decisions. And then the people in the field who are making decisions are also giving feedback into the development of these technologies. So we're hoping that maybe in 10 years from now we'll have this seamless dialogue. <laughs>